checkers. It is one of the oldest games in the world. Fox 8's Chad Tucker introduces us to some of the pros who will be going for a world title. So uh, I'm playing American title of checkers from 1996. It's one of the oldest games in the world. My father started getting me into checkers, which is why I like start at a very young age. And these two, Alex and Alex. Are going for the world title. Fun? No, it's not fun. It's not fun? <laughs> it's, not, it's not fun. Alex Moise has been the king of competitive checkers, holding the 11 man ballot title for 16 years now. This is interesting and I love it. And Alex Holmes is here to dethrone him. It's just so amazing how complicated checkers can be when you know you're playing in tournaments and matches while so many love the game for these two it's a sport that comes with a six thousand dollar prize the winner gets 60 percent of price uh, second player gets 40 percent it can be intense grueling for the mind it takes a lot more strategy than what people think playing out all the future moves of your opponent you know if you could have made better moves possibly play for an advantage Holmes grew up learning under King I Alex remember him just like a small boy and while he's a hard one to be every time you play against him you learn something the friendships uh, even if, even if and lessons him, you know, he'll learn during this week-long tournament are more valuable than the win in Archdale. Looking for Roy's folks. Chad Tucker, Fox 8 News. The tournament lasted all last week with Alex Moisev retaining his 11-man ballot world champion title.